What's up guys, it's Wits here with another Witch Queen Destiny 2 video and today's topic is about materials. We are talking about the materials that you need to craft weapons in Destiny 2. Now first thing you need to know all the materials that you are going to need in order for you to target farm the ones that you need. Now I have a list of all the materials here that you can find. And uh, they are as follows, Glamour, Resonant Alloys, Ascendant Alloys, Resonant Elements, Ruinous Elements, Adroit Elements, Mutable Elements, Energetic Elements, Drowned Elements. Those are all the ones that you can farm. Now you can get those in many different ways. But one of the main ways that you get those is through those weapons. The weapons with the red borders that you get to drop somewhere in the world of Destiny and you can see that it asks you to attune the weapon first you need to attune the weapons so you can extract whatever is inside the weapons meaning the materials that you are going to need for instance let's look at one of the weapons with the red border so if i look inside the weapon you can see right here i'm trying to attune this weapon and i am at 78 percent and i will show you some of the fastest way to get this done and inside the weapon and inside the weapon you can see that i can extract the mutable element which is one of the elements that we talked about in the list of elements and then you also have neutral element which is something that you can get very easily it's kind of the basic materials for crafting now some elements are easier than others to find like for instance let me give you an example if i want to reshape my smg the new SMG, the exotic SMG. Inside the SMG, if I go trying to reshape it, there's one element that you need for the catalyst that is called Ruinous Element. As you can see right now, I have 106 out of 140. So I'm going to need some more in order for me to be able to get this catalyst when I am at level 10. But if I look at in my inventory, I can look at one that I already attuned and I can see that I have an energetic element and I also have ruinous elements. So I am going to target this one and then I'm going to apply this and now I added 12 more ruinous elements. Now if I go back to the reshape table and then go back to the SMG. And if we look for the catalyst, now you can see I have 118 out of 140. Before that, I only have 106. That means I moved up in the world and I am closer to finishing the catalyst for this one. Now, what are some of the fastest and best way to get these materials? I'm going to show you three different methods and you can decide which one is going to work the best for you. Now, the first one I'm going to show you, you have to go to your destination. And then we are going to go to the Cosmodrome. And then up there where you see the grass of the average, you can launch this. And then once you get down there in the beginning of the dungeon, you can have waves of enemies coming at you and then you can kill them. And then you can make progress for your weapon or whatever weapon that you are shooting. Now, this requires you to actually shoot the weapon, kill enemies with the weapons. Now, when you are doing this method, it's about killing everything that comes, but you also need to pick up this engram every once in a while. That way you can buff yourself and you don't die. If you don't, you will die. And then it, no, it's no big deal, but you know, it kind of stops the progress. Now, the second method I'm going to show you is to go to the destination again. And then this time we're going on the moon. And then on the moon where you see Soar's Arbor, you can just launch this right here. And then you will end up in that public event there, Altars of Sorrow. And then there you can just keep killing enemies. So wherever you can find the waves of enemy, then this is going to be your best bet. But you can only do one weapon at a time. The third method is my preferred method. I believe this method to be the best one in my opinion. But what you need to do is just go to the Vanguard Strikes. And then you start doing some strikes. Now the trick is to make things go faster. You can equip three different weapons at a time. As long as they are red weapons, then you can make progress towards them. You don't have to actually shoot the weapon. You just make sure that it is equipped. 
Now the best way that I have been doing this is I use my favorite weapons, whatever the weapon that might be. And then as soon as we get ready to finish the strikes and I equip all the red weapon that I have, and then you will see that you're going to make some progress, a lot of progress with the weapon. So you don't actually have to shoot the weapon. Just make sure that you shoot it at least once or kill one enemy with it, whatever. And then you should be good to go. But the main thing is completing the strikes, Gambit, the Crucible is what's going to give you the progress. So that's what I've been doing to make him go faster. And you'll see that you get a lot of progress by doing it that way. That's why I consider this to be my favorite and in the fastest way because you can do three at a time. Whereas all the other methods, you have to shoot your weapon one at a time and you actually have to be shooting the weapon for you to make those progress. That's why I say this is the best. Basically guys, that is it. That's all the methods that I know that I have been using that can make the progress go a lot faster. So if you find this helpful, please don't forget to leave a like, comment or subscribe. I will be most appreciative. Thanks again for watching. I will see you guys later.